What's up, Wildcats? I'm Taylor. And I'm Carly, and welcome back to this week's Wildcat News. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'll be like, jacket. what's up, Wildcats? <laughs> Today's lunch, we have fish nuggets with whole grain, French bread pizza, vegetarian beans with rice, chef salad, and everyone's favorite individual pizza. For sides, we have orange wedges, lettuce mixed Florida fresh, and sweet potato fries. For today's weather, there is a low of 71 degrees and a high of 82 degrees. There is a 40% chance of rain. Looks like it's going to be a warm day today with some showers. Make sure to pack your umbrellas. Now here's Hudson and Cooper with the sports. Thanks, Carly. Unfortunately, on Tuesday, the girls' flag football team's win streak ended with a loss against Kenwood. We hope to see them bounce back in their next game. Moving along, on Sunday, the LA Rams faced off against the Cincinnati Bengals for the 56th annual Super Bowl at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Here's a clip of the game-winning touchdown caught by Cooper Cup to win the game for the Rams. Pass. Cut. Got it. Touchdown. We got some great news for you, Wildcats. You can now sign up for the Superintendent's 5K Challenge with SMMCS. The last day to sign up to have your t-shirt and swag bag delivered to school is on midnight of February 18th. But don't worry, signing up is very easy. Every student should have received a flyer like this one. To register, go to giveourstudentstheworld.org. Invite your family and friends to join you. Here are some segments from our sixth and seventh graders. Hello Wildcats! As you may know, during the month of February, we celebrate Black History Month, which is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time to recognize their central role in American history. On January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky, Cassius Clay was born. He was a professional boxer, activist, entertainer, poet, and philanthropist. When he was 12, he discovered his talent for boxing in a weird way to fit. His bike was stolen and he told an officer that he wanted to beat up the thief. The offer said, well, you better learn how to fight before you start challenging people, and soon took boxing lessons. At the age of 18, he won a gold medal in light heavyweight division at the 1960 Summer Olympics. In 1964, he knocked out Sony Linston in a major upset to becoming the heavyweight champion of the world at only 22 years old. The same year, he gave up his birth name as he believed that it was a slave name and formally became known as Muhammad Ali. Three years later, in 1966, he received news he had, to been, he had been drafted to go serve in the U.S. military to fight the Vietnam War. He declined the draft because of his religious beliefs and ethical opposition to the war and was found guilty of draft invasion. He was stripped of his heavyweight champion and was banned from boxing. He stayed out of prison appealing to the Supreme Court where the decision was overturned five years later losing a golden period of peak performance as an athlete. Because of his views and opposition to the war, Ali became an icon during the 1960s and a high-profile figure to racial pride for African Americans during the Civil Rights Movement. He came back reclaiming his heavyweight title against George Foreman in the high-profile event, the Rumble in the Jungle, the biggest boxing event up until then. Ali died on June 3, 2016 from Parkinson's syndrome complications, and today he is widely regarded as one of the most significant and celebrated sports figures of the 20th century, and the still greatest of all time. That's all for this week's Wildcat News. Once again, I'm Taylor. And I'm Carly. See you next week.